Welcome back. Well, with the parties, shopping, cooking, cleaning, and more, you can probably get a little bit stressed, depressed, anxious during the holidays. Right. Clinical Supervisor Erica Ina is here from Elliott Counseling Group to share how we can try to avoid the holiday stress or maybe at least help us a little bit. Yes. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for being me. here. Thank you. Um, so I think a lot of us think of the holidays and think joy, celebration, but that's not always the case. Um, a lot of times we're really stressed out, maybe even grieving, and it's pretty normal for some of those feelings to come out. Um, so it's really important for us to stop and check in with ourselves and really ask the question, how am I feeling, and recognize that it would be pretty normal not to be feeling happy and joyful all the time. <laughs> yeah. So it seems like stress during the holidays has almost gotten normalized. You know, everyone probably feels like at some point they're running around like everyone in home alone. Right. In the beginning. <laughs> so what can you do to try to slow that down? Yeah, well, it's important to really plan ahead and set realistic expectations. That goes for your schedule and your budget. Um, so maybe take a little bit of time before the holidays really get crazy and pick some things that are really priority for you and your family. Um, make time for those and also plan ahead in your budget for those things. And then be able to say no to maybe some of the other um, obligations that we put on ourselves because it is okay to say no. <laughs> and I think that might be tough for a lot of people to say no. We say yes to everything because we, f we feel bad saying no. <laughs> right, right. And it's impossible to say yes to everything. So it's good to be clear and set limits ahead of time. That way you feel strong and when you do have to say no. <laughs> sure. So during this time of year, uh, a lot of people have off work, mm -hmm. but it may be a good idea for them to still plan things out and stick to a schedule. Definitely. And it's also important not to give up those healthy habits too. Um, it's pretty normal for us to indulge in food or drink during the holidays. And so maybe it's still getting enough sleep, um, making time for some physical activity. And then um, a good recommendation would be to eat a snack before going to a big holiday party or meal. Um, and you're less likely to overeat during Good point. Um, and also a good thing to give yourself a break. Yes. <laughs> and it can be holiday themed. You can read a book, maybe go for a walk, listen to music. Um, it can really help bring out the holidays and but also give you some downtime too. Sure. And what else can we do in that downtime to kind of relax? Yeah. Well, mindfulness is kind of a buzzword right now. Um, and it's something that you can really easily bring into the holidays. It could be just taking some time for deep breathing. Maybe just take a second to really recognize what you're grateful for or your surroundings. Um, there's lots of really beautiful decorations around this time of year, music. And if we t stop and kind of um, take time to smell the roses, for lack of a better word, um, it can be helpful in being mindful during the holiday time. Um, and one thing we do in therapy sometimes is daily affirmations. And so it could be something that you choose as like your statement that you repeat to yourself through the holiday season. Um, like, I am capable of loving others or I am thankful for where I'm at in life right now. Something that you can repeat um, to yourself on a regular basis to kind of reinforce those sure. ideas. Or I'm not going to punch my brother in the face. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you get to be that. Your own. <laughs> you never know, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you mentioned at the beginning of this segment um, that, of course, sometimes we're grieving during this time. Um, when is it appropriate to seek some additional help? Yeah. Well, I, I think at any time it's never an inappropriate time to, you know, seek out a counselor, seek out professional help. Um, but definitely if you're noticing increased sadness, um, irritability, not being able to sleep, maybe some fatigue, um, those would all be really good signs that it is definitely a good idea to reach out to someone. Very good. Great advice. Thank you so much, Eric. Yeah, of course. And at LA Counseling, we have over 30 um, therapists at three locations, so definitely that would be a good place to do that. Very good. Perfect. Thanks, Erica. Thank you, guys.